Hi everybody, welcome to Monkey Island Madness. This is my time slot for the um, New Year's Eve Streamathon. So I get to ring in the New Year for the East Coast people and the Central Time Zone people here in the United States and Canada. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. It's been such a fun, fun day. I mean, it started with Dee Dee doing collage and, I mean, just... It's just been so much fun. Um, and really, I, I've been at everybody's streams. I did have to get up and cook and do some stuff here and there. But, um, yeah, it was really fun. Oh, and then it was Kathy Berg and Colleen and Pam and Debbie and Heather. And Jean just finished. And Jean, your little book was awesome. Um, now it's me and then Jennifer Krakalak and we'll... Um, follow me so um, yeah Jennifer is not here yet so hi Jonna it was good to see you and Darcy today too and I need to say thank you before we even start doing anything because I don't know how long ago it was Jonna that you guys did the um, stick it down challenge I don't think I dated anything but um, I just enjoyed that so much and then we started talking about doing a scavenger hunt so I've gone ahead and um, and set another one up and I'm launching it tonight and it'll start tomorrow morning after I um, send the list out was it 2015 was it that long ago really oh my gosh anyway um, so that's what I'm going to do first is one, thank Jonna and Darcy for their hard work because many of the prompts um, you guys used in yours, I went ahead and used again in mine because they were so excellent to begin with. So um, it was the last thing you won. What, over at Jonna and, and Darcy's? Anyway. Um, Happy New Year. This is my first page in the Beast. And you guys, you can tell, I have not set up my 2018 Beast. So guess what I'm going to be doing tomorrow? Yeah, that's pretty much my... There, there goes 2017. Bye-bye. Hi, Dragon Slayer Sarah. So um, this was my um, stick it down challenge. I'm going to pull out a little bit so you guys can maybe see it. And I've shown it the last couple weeks as we were talking about doing this. Um, this actually is a little Midori that I bought from Jonna with the sock monkeys on it. And this was the stick it down challenge. And so we're going to repeat this um, to participate um, I know, Eileen, don't even start with me. Um, to participate, did you just hear Roxy? Yeah, she went scramming out of here. I don't know what the heck got into her. Um, you can email me at this. Um, email address. She just started this nonsense. Um, anyway, if you want to participate and you want the list, go ahead and um, and email me. And in the morning, I'm going to get up, and the first thing I'm going to do is get the um, the list out to everybody. So I'll show you what the list is going to look like. It's right here. I hand wrote it because I didn't want to have to learn a bunch of word processing and crap. I can't work in the dark. Sorry. Anyway, you'll get two sheets. Um, and you can print them front to back so that when you um, print them, they'll fold and go into your journal. Okay, so when you get the first page, page one is actually going to be on the right-hand side. And then if you flip it up over and print the other side... Um, then they go in number sequence and then page four is back here. So, um, this is what your book will end up looking like. It's going to be fun. It ends up chunky. 
Um, I've never taken it out of this story, um, Jonna, because um, it's not the exact same list, um, Jonna, but I did use a lot of your prompts. Um, I've never taken it out of here, and I probably never will. Even though I love this Midori, I just I don't have the heart to take this apart because I love it so much. So um, there are no rules about the scavenger hunt. Um, the only rule is have fun. Um, and what we're going to do is there's actually 70 items on your list. Yes, I have started the recording already, but thanks for reminding me, Lynn. Um, yeah, there's 70 items on here, and this is going to run until March 1st. And if, if and when you complete all your um, items on the list, send me your name and say I have completed it. And I will put you into a drawing that I will draw out of immediately after the March 1st deadline. And I don't have a gift yet, but I will. Um, so that's it. Um, and if you put your name in the pot for the winning, I may ask you to photograph one item for me. Um, just... I want to do it on the honor system, um, but I may say, you know, send me a picture of number 31 or whatever. You've completed it already? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll email it out to everybody. And there's little check boxes, so as you finish something, you can um, check it off. And I'll read down the, um, down the list real quick. Um, oh, and one thing I wanted to really encourage is that I don't want you guys to spend any money, and I know some of you have difficulty getting out and getting some of this stuff. So, when you collect an item, I would encourage you to alter it, make it yours, make it as fun as you can make it, and if there's something that you just can't get, create your own. Um, for example, if you don't have a dry cleaning Tag, which I used again. That was kind of a sticky one on Johnny and Jonna and Darcy's, I thought. You can always make your own, you know, or something from your library. Make your own. Make, an, make your own bookmark. Put your library and their phone number or something on it. I'm going to encourage you to um, alter your items, create them from scratch, whatever. Um, and all these instructions are right on the front of this page. So, um, you know, you'll read it and, and find it out. And I would also encourage you to post photos um, on Instagram and Twitter and whatever. If you have a page or something you particularly like. Um, and use the hashtag scavengerhunt2018. And here's my email again um, for those who want to participate. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, and that's without the spaces, you guys, um, leave me a message and we can figure out if you want to do it. But I'm going to read through the list real quick. shouldn't take long. First one is tea bag, envelope, and or tag. And I didn't use stick it down, you guys, because I felt, John and Darcy, because I felt like you guys owned that. So, um you have to do a coloring book page and it needs to be colored pull off a label off a blanket pillow towel or clothing I like the ones that do not remove this tag under penalty of law or something because if Eileen takes it off a pillow I'm calling the police and getting her butt thrown in jail oh and it's time to start drinking so here I'm gonna start with my mudslide Eileen likes it when I drink on stream I've never had a mudslide, you guys. I've never had this. So, um, yeah. I'll tell you if it's any good. Holy cow. That doesn't begin to taste like mud. That tastes like chocolate milk. Alright, anyway, we're going on now. 
ask a neighbor or a fib, which I'm sure all of you know, fib is a friend in the box, for something to add to your journal. Include something you would normally throw away. You have to include a photo of a celebrity you either love or hate. Include a flower or a leaf. They're better cold. Uh, I'll drink it room temperature. I don't care. A puzzle. Either a crossword, Sudoku, or you could put an entire jigsaw puzzle in there. Include a greeting card sentiment a junk mail envelope that you've doodled on, a whole page of blue stuff, a craft or an art store receipt, a tip-in, anything you want, and for those of you, do, does everybody know what a tip-in is? I'll show you in a minute. Don't let me forget that, Eileen. A dry cleaning tag, a newspaper article, a local business card, postage stamps, real or not, food logos, washi tape, local attraction brochure, a pop top, a piece of swapped art, a test page of art supplies, a sleeve from a hot beverage, a ransom note from cutout letters, a photo of someone you love, a recipe card from a supermarket, packet and that's another one. If you don't get to the supermarket or your supermarket doesn't have um, recipe cards, make up your own. Packaging from a recent purchase, doodles, lots of doodles, stickers off of fruit or vegetables, a quote that you love, a cartoon character, a piece of shipping or duct tape, napkins, draw or color some plaid, make a paper airplane out of wrapping paper or pattern paper, a crayon label, a ribbon, a postcard from any location, some sheet music, a fortune out of a fortune cookie. Again, if that's difficult for you, create your own. A fake credit card from or from a card from ARP or Triple A. A candy or a gum wrapper. I'm loving this. An unused cupcake paper, because it would be really gross if you used a used one. It would mold. A Zentangle or an interesting pattern. The hold edge from notebook paper, something from your local library, a ticket stub, a newspaper headline, a picture of a fashion model, nail polish on something, perfume, airline luggage tag, lyrics from your favorite song, rubber stamping, stickers, your family tree. And you can make that up. I mean, how am I going to know, right? A page of lettering practice, some company logos a page of red stuff, a matchbook cover, a flag from your country or state, a rag flag which is like one of these um, paper clip or um, yeah paper clip with a, a ribbon on it matches my dory, um, a butterfly, some yarn, something unusual, your choice, gratitude either you can use photos or words or whatever just something in there that you're grateful for something that says you so you can do a whole page about you and a lot of these were John and Darcy's and I'll just show you an example like my page of me I think it was number one yeah so this is what my page about me was about so you don't have to do just one item. You can do as many items as you want. You know? Who is... It is me. I don't know. There's n No, I will um, email it to you, Azure. I don't have a blog. Didn't want to get a blog. Just email me, and I will send it out in a blanket email tomorrow. Thank you, Jen. Um, so anyway, and then I thought of later after I finished this list, because so many of you today were talking about um, your 2018 word or your 2018 goal, I would also encourage you to add things to the list. And if you do, if you think of a good prompt that you think the others would really have fun with, 
tweet it and, and pass it around and let other people do it. But to qualify for the, the prize drawing, all you have to do is finish those 70 items. But you have to finish them all. Okay? Yeah, go ahead um, and email me. Um, even if it's um, not tonight or tomorrow, I mean, I'll, I'll get the stragglers because I'm sure I'll have some. But it'll go out in a blanket email, and when you get it, there'll be two attachments that you can print front and back. Okay? Um, just looking, I, there were things I didn't want to forget. And another thing is don't spend money. Use what you have. Honestly, use what you have. Kia, it's all set up. I appreciate that. I appreciate the offer a lot. Um... But it's all set up to be sent out for email. All I've got to do is is put you guys in. So it's no big deal. But if it gets to be too big a hassle, um, I might take you up on it. But as of right now, nah, it'll be fine. Um, all right. And then um, tonight, as part of the stream and oh wait happy new year east coast people it's midnight I yeah midnight right now I probably should have the TV on but I don't so happy new year I still have another hour to go I hope we all have an unbelievably good 2018. That's what I'm counting on. That's what I'm counting on. And so tonight, before we leave here, as some of you who attend my streams regularly are aware, Eileen makes me do magicals like all the time and I end up with tons of magical paper and I have to do something with it. So I've been um, making these journal covers and um, I'm going to give five of them away tonight. Four of the um, woven ones and then this um, Discover Adventure. So let me see. And you don't have to use this for um, the Stick It Down Challenge but I went ahead and made some inserts for the, the covers and their pattern paper and then the back is blank so the way the the prompt list is designed is that you can go ahead and just stick it in your book and keep it with your book right so it's small enough to fit in these small journals but it will also fit in your um, Thanks, Arlene. But it'll also fit in a larger one. So that was kind of why I, I designed it this way, because I wanted it to be workable in these smaller journals. So, so before the night is over, probably toward the end of the stream, I will go ahead and give those away. Okay, and a tip-in. Let me show you a tip-in. I know I've got some in here. Okay, this would be a tip-in, where if, if your pages fill up, um, a tip-in is just where you create another page, affix it to one of the other page, and it's just taped to the edge. That's what tip-ins are. So, I had a bunch of them in here, I thought. Look at him. Isn't he just so adorable? I just want to lick him. Thanks, Scooby. I have all this. Yeah, I know. Eileen's already bossing me around. Hi, Jan. Gosh, been a long time for you, too. Okay, and if you're using a small journal, like this was something for a local event, you know, fold it up and stick it in there. Get inventive, for sure. This is another tip-in. 
this was, um, I want something from Jonna, so I went ahead and just tipped it in there. That's what a tip-in is. Okay? And sometimes, you know, like here's a note from Carrie that I went ahead and just stuck in there. So make it interactive and fun. Here's the, um, a newspaper article. I don't know why I chose this one. Oh, it's about the survivor tree. Um, down at the Oklahoma City Memorial. So, and here's another tip-in. So in mine, I mean, I I put tip-ins, you know, one going this way, one going this way. Um, so yeah, be inventive. Here's another tip-in. So there's tip-ins all over. Does that answer your questions? You have ideas already? Yay, Allie, I'm so excited. Um, we've, I went out a little while ago. Um, there, we've still got over an hour to go and people are outside shooting off fireworks already. And I don't even live in a populated area. So, um, so the other day on stream, um, we made this journal cover and that's what I'm gonna do again tonight is I'm gonna do one of these um, washi tape mixed media journal covers this one that we did I don't know one day last week I streamed a lot last week because I was gonna art all week if it killed me this one is a standard Midori size now these that you make with paper you guys these are like a one-time use thing so if you make one to use for your scavenger hunt you might use it a little bit longer than that but they're not designed to last forever okay um all right Jean, go get something to eat um but yeah i'm gonna do another one of these and i'm gonna give you so sizes i don't know how many of you are familiar with traveler's notebooks by now i'm sure everybody is but they come in a ton of different sizes. You know, you can get the large ones, you can get, this is the standard size one. Um, and the nice thing about using a standard size one is you can buy the inserts already made. And so right now they've got that section at Michael's where you can go in and buy these inserts pre-made for you. I usually make my own. Um, but it's nice to have a size where you can make your own. This one here, Darcy, I'm going to show you how to do this, Darcy. You're going to freak when you see how easy it is to make this. It's so easy. It's crazy. Um, this is the personal size. This one I love. I think my personal size may be my favorite. And if you guys want the sizes to any of these journals, the personal, the standard, um, and then this is a passport size. Tonight, I'm going to decorate and make a passport size. Reason being, I'm going to Australia, and I'm going to take it with me. I know, Michael's has so many new everythings. Oh, my God. So if you want the sizes of those um, Midori's, I've got them. I mean, I've been... Yeah, I've got them. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. And use as your base to start from um, an interesting backwards. I use text because you can see through, I don't think you guys can see it, but a couple places here and there, you can see through the washi and the, um, the type shows up. And I'm using this out of that New York Times book I bought. But then the inside also has the type. So I don't have, um, I don't have to do anything with the inside of the book. And this one's not done yet. But I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch on this one. So, to get you guys started, if you're going to make one of these, decide which of the sizes. I'm going to do another um, traveler's notebook style with the elastic on the spine. And the 
what makes this unique, you guys, is that I've gone ahead and built in the pocket. Normally, a Midori or a Traveler's Notebook is just the cover, and then you have to buy all the um, pockets or anything to go with it. The ones that I'm building today and the other day um, have the pockets built in. So for the standard size, I mean, you would need a sheet of paper. What did I decide? 20 some inches? Yeah, you'd probably have to start with the parent size 15, 16, 7, like 17 and a half inches to go ahead and get the fold out enough paper to have the fold out for the for the fold over pocket but it's really nice to have those then you don't have to buy anything um, extra but they fit the the inserts really nice so for the passport size which I'm going to do tonight you'll need a piece of paper 11 and a half inches wide by six inches high okay and that's going to leave you enough um, paper to have a fold in for the pockets and the fold up for your glue tab okay so this is what you're going to start with all right I went ahead and, and did the cuts just to save time because I don't have a huge amount of time tonight. You should do it, Joyce. You should do it. Okay, so I've already got it um, a fold down the middle, and then I just, because of the size of the paper, determine the size of my pocket, you guys. But for this small um, one, that size pocket's going to be plenty. Okay? So I'm going to start decorating it. And if you guys want the measurements, speak now or forever hold your peace. So to start this little thing, and Eileen made me do this. Eileen makes me do everything. I probably wouldn't get out of bed in the morning if Eileen didn't make me. Is you just got to get your drink out of the way and your apple juice and your water. <laughs> get your washi tape and I think this one since I'm probably going to keep it I'm going to do um, color scheme oh what did I get I got a windows help and support screen cup that's awesome thank you Darcy alright should I do a different color scheme than my normal should I ask Eileen Oh, CB's getting bossy now? Yes, this one will fit inserts, Sarah. Well, yes, it will. If you look online, um, this one will actually hold the, they call it passport size. The finished size of a passport traveler's notebook is three and a half inches by four and 4.8 inches. And if you want it in millimeters, it's 89 millimeters by 122 millimeters okay now that's the size when it's all folded up okay so if you want to make the small passport size I'll give you these me measurements again you're gonna need a piece of paper 11 and a half inches wide Those are not my measurements, Jamie. <laughs> Mine are 22, 36, 92. <laughs> CB's bossy because her butt hurts. Because she's been sitting on it all day. Me too. Okay, so you know that you need a sheet of paper 11 and a half inches across. And before you start doing any of the cutouts, you want your paper six inches high. Okay? You need to fold it down the center, which is at five and three quarters. That will give you this. Well, I'll show it on this before the cuts. All right. All right, fold it in half. 
and your next fold is going to be three and a half inches out from the center okay on each side I'm going kind of slow so you guys can can do this as you want or make notes as we want and then a half an inch up from the bottom go ahead and strike yourself a, a line <clears throat> okay because you've got to cut out this little tab um, to glue the pocket to so you've got to build that in okay and then if, if you fold it like this you're gonna see where your tab has to be so the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and draw yourself a line where your cut lines are gonna be at the edge of the flaps or the pockets and you're gonna cut off the area between those two and off of the flap itself right I have not yet Jean um, I'm gonna do it in the morning I don't think I'm gonna stay up tonight to do it because there's a lot of people I just looked at my email before I got on here of course I haven't done emails in a few days but I have over 200 emails <laughs> that I've got to write, get through tomorrow but I haven't yet no so then you want to just and I always cut my um, glue tabs kind of at a little bit of an angle so that the they don't interfere you're just gonna cut that out of the center and this is on recording so if you if you get started and, and you get stuck come back and watch the recording okay and then cut over to your fold and I always cut a little bit up I'll come down so you can see um, I, I cut over to that first fold right now I'm gonna cut at a little bit of an angle so that the paper just isn't in the way Okay, that's how easy it is to cut that little tabby do. Twenty eighteen, wow. I remember when we were all freaking out over Y two K. Okay. So there you go. There's your tabs. And then I always just score it a little bit, not much, with the edge of my X-Acto. You can get your um, bone folder out if you want to score it. I just run the blade over just a little bit. Just barely. And then that gives me the fold. And then if you want to reinforce that with something, that's fine too. And there you go okay now cutting how how you determine the angle of the cut on the pocket itself is really personal preference it doesn't really matter I just I don't know what I did on this I just picked an angle and went for it the y2k yeah that was crazy all right I just went down two and a half inches from the top made myself a little mark and then just cut it from your first fold out to your little mark at an angle and there's your secretary pocket I think is what they call it I don't know I could use my new ruler to get the angle cut. I could do that. 
I'm, I don't think that it would have that angle though, Eileen. I'm pretty sure it would not. So now I've got two ready to go. And it works the same for any of them, you guys. Um, it doesn't matter if, if my sheet was 22 inches wide or if it was 5 inches wide. The, the basic design is going to be the same. Fold it down the center. Fold it in however far you want your pocket. Make your tab. It, it's the same no matter what. So you get to decide. Oh my god, I see 40% off. Alright. You know what I was going to say about drinking tonight? That um, I was going to take a drink every time I wanted to hit Eileen upside the head. <laughs> and I'd be drunk in an hour. Oh, you want to see the, the new Mycos ruler? I think it was just here a little while ago. This place, oh it is. This place is such a mess. I use those new Dilutions paint pens today too, you guys. Well, that's what I do the um, Happy New Year with. That I show that was on screen when I. Um, this is those new Dilutions paint pens. Um, I love them. I love them. And if I use them all up, I will buy more. I love them. And this is the new ruler that I got at Michael's. I don't, I didn't need a ruler, but when I was going shopping that day, day Eileen said, get a ruler. And then when I got there, this cool ruler was there and it was only two bucks. Because everything was 40% off. I think it's four, four if it's not on sale. But it's cool because there's holes drilled in it. They're every fifth of an inch. Um, I don't know why they chose fifth of an inch. Um, drink every time she enables you. <laughs> every time she enables and I'll die of alcoholism. <laughs> That's true. Monique. Anyway, I did use these. The spacing on this is actually one fifth inch because I used this to figure out the spacing and it made it really easy um, and it's got the angles on it I don't know so if you feel like you need this ruler um, I'd say run down to your local Michaels pay them two bucks and you can take it home I'm glad I bought it and I know I still keep it in its packaging because it's still my precious it won't stay in its packaging too much longer but for right now it's still my precious oh um Paula do you want to see your pen <laughs> if you want to see your pen I'll go get your pen and show you it is some kind of pretty very very pretty all right I'm not getting anything done here what's one fifth inch see that's just it um, Jen, I don't know why they chose one-fifth of an inch because in printing the standard measurement is one-sixth of an inch. In everything else it's one-eighth of an inch. On this ruler it's one-fifth of an inch. So I don't know. I don't know. Crap, here we go again. It is a neat ruler, Sarah. Yeah. Like if you don't have a T-square, you better get one of these bad boys. Or the, you know, it's just like, oh my god, the ruler thing is endless. Well, I don't work in fifth inches either, um, Jen. I don't know why, why they chose that as, you have to remember, all this crap comes from China. Hello? Oops, sorry, that was the top of the washi tape. And I won't show the whole thing of washi tape unless you people beg. Um, should I do a random color one again? I know you have a T-square because we have the same one. I don't know, Trouble, but I am a ruler fanatic. If I pulled out 
all my rulers, you guys would be just be crying. All right, I need to get going here. I'm going to do one that is nothing but blue, I think, because they do. They make things straight. They make it beautiful. Chat's acting up again. Oh, no. Mine right now is fine. You are here, Cheryl. All right, here we go. The thing you do is grab your washi tape and just start sticking it down randomly. Doesn't matter any size, any what way you want. The one thing I would say that I've learned from experience is try not to put it over a fold because um, washi tape doesn't have good adhesive and it will tend to want to pull up. So that's the only free advice I could give you about that. Um, Carol, it's in the Carol's a uh, Ruler Fanatic too, and a Lettering Guide Fanatic. Um, it's in the, Michaels has a new section called The Right Place, that, and they spell right, W-R-I-T-E, and it really is a cool place. Um, they've got all kinds of journaling stuff and pens, oh my gosh. And the other day when I was there, they didn't have much of the pens out. But I'm going back Tuesday. Okay, in other, so in other words, how far across and how far down from angle corner to angle corner? I just went down two and a half inches on the small one, Jen. And on the big one, I went down. It was totally random, Jen. There's no rhyme or reason to why I did this. I just wanted it so that you could be able to see what's in there and get stuff out in, um, really easy. If you do the large one... I came down four and three quarter inches. So I don't know, you could come down halfway, say halfway, whatever. You need to shop. I know. See, and I, I feel bad enabling you guys because we all probably have enough of this junk. We don't need it. But I go there and I have to buy it. And if I come home empty handed, I'm almost afraid to get on the computer and tell Eileen I didn't buy anything. I don't think so, Sarah. I don't think it's for calligraphy guides. If you guys find out what it's for, let me know. Um, I would love to know because I don't know. And I'm doing this one color scheme. I'm doing this blue. I like blue. And since my passport's going in it, I get to decide. Is Jen going to make one too? Jen, you know, any of you know, you can get a hold of me, Twitter, by now you all have my email, um, yeah, just call and at, just get questions answered, I don't, I got nothing better to do. So I'm picking all colors, I'm going to use some maybe turquoise greeny kind of colors too, I think, because I don't have that much navy blue and and light blue. So I'll use some of these little pretty ones. Ooh, this one's pretty. I need to enable you to order washi tape from Amazon. I don't know that I have ever ordered washi tape from Amazon, frankly. Um, Eileen was enabling us the other day. Eileen and wasn't it Jeannie? were enabling us with washi off of Amazon and they actually the prices were not that bad really um, but you guys have seen my wa washi stash I, if I order any more somebody needs to slap me upside the head and then start drinking oh I think I will thanks for <laughs> offering that oh I already did enable you it wasn't me I've gotten most of my washi, the really cool washi, frankly, I've gotten off of Etsy. My favorite washi is washi I've gotten off of Etsy. The Japanese washi is the best. Just saying. And then, of course, obviously, a lot of this is from um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby.
if they have a 40% off coupon or a 50% off of recollections or whatever, duh, you have to buy it. And this may be too big a pieces for this little tiny planner. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. If we don't like it, what have we wasted? We were still going to hang out together tonight anyway. And I know this looks a mess. I Believe me, I know it. This is a pretty blue one too. Science uses fifth inch rule for physics. Well, I'm going to start doing physics in the morning because I bought that ruler, Debbie. God, shoot me now. You going to bed, Ange? Good night. Sweet dreams. You got to be a tired girl, so. I'll be sleeping here shortly. I am going to go over to Jennifer's and hang out for as long as I can. It, the rat is still up. The rat never stays up this late, you guys. These two are so similar. Huh. I'll only use one of them. Yeah, I know that washi is Japanese, but everybody's making it now, Jeannie. Like the Chinese have totally taken over the market. Like, go on wish. You can't leave. You have to win a journal. Well, I am I wish everybody the best of luck with that. Okay, I think the fifth are so you can measure what your calculator gives you, such as 6.4 inches. Well, how is a fifth going to help me? An eighth would be easier. I already know those numbers. <laughs> I have to relearn from scratch? I don't want to do that. All right, and then I'm going to add some of this pretty green. You like the pieces all over? Well, wait till the paint starts going on. It looks worse for a while, and then it, at the end, it's just like, holy cow, how did that happen? I wasn't expecting that. And I don't know if the single color one is going to look as pretty as the, um, the crazy quilt one. I love the crazy quilt one. But I thought, well, I'll just do one kind of color theme. I did the blue, purple, green the other day, and it was pretty. And I'm staying away from the, um, I don't mind going off the edges at the top, um, but I'm staying away from the folds on purpose. Okay, here's the rat, you guys. You going to bed? No, I want to stay up till midnight. You're staying up till midnight? I understand. Robert Vaughn, what has gotten into you? Well, I looked up at the clock, so it's 11.30. 11.30, so I just want to see the whole year out and new one in. Well, good for you. I've never known him to do this. This is the first time in probably 40 years or 50 that I've stayed up. Now, I wish I'd, um, I might save that out. That might be my words for this one. It says, life is a journey, and this is going to be a passport size for my passport. So, hmm. So, that may be my words for this. Okay, they're all saying, hi, Robert. Happy New Year, Rat. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year, Robert. 
I was afraid it was a real rat. <laughs> Oh gosh, I guess for those of you who don't attend my streams regularly. Happy birthday, all. Happy, or happy New Year. Happy Year's. birthday. You yeah. think everybody's having a birthday today? Um, I call Robert Vaughn the rat because he's. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't been to this stream, Robert is currently, and he goes back Tuesday, in fact, getting treated for leukemia. And they use arsenic as the chemo for leukemia. So Robert gets arsenic. Okay, and Lynn and Raleigh said, pucker up, buttercup. Yeah, <laughs> really. And Galena's like, hey, you owe everyone a kiss, and you owe me an emu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it's me, you stinking idiot, which is an alias for Jen says squiz says hi and happy new year he'd talk back but he has food in his mouth no. robert has been nipping your drinks no robert doesn't nip my drinks i promise happy new year's to all <laughs> say hi to squiz do what say hi to squiz did you take your hearing aids out already hey squiz how you doing <laughs> you took your hearing aids out didn't you hmm? Did you take your hearing aids out? Mm -hmm. You can't hear squat then. Mm -hmm. Okay. He can't hear squat. Can I make a journal cover with a single sheet of paper and then fold it over? Um, you can, Jennifer, but you may not have enough surface area to do the pockets. Um, but on the one that I did yesterday, I had to use two pieces of paper and reinforce it in the middle so you can always do that alright I know Eileen is going stop 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 this probably is enough alright we'll stop if I don't have enough washi Eileen it's gonna be your fault and I want to hit her upside the head so I better drink Robert the party animal isn't that the truth Jen says it's going good here, Robert. The what? Jen said it's going good. He's, she's talking for Squiz, that everything's going good. Oh, good. And I know I'm sounding like I'm screaming, and I am, because he can't hear me. I can't hear you. I can hear you just fine. <laughs> He's so full of it. What in the world are you drinking? Mudslide. This is my first one. You want to taste? What is it? It's a mudslide. Mudslide? Yeah. Sure is. I don't know what's in it. Tastes like chocolate milk, doesn't it? A little bit. Got some kind of liquor in it, doesn't it? Kahlua. Huh? Kahlua. Okay, here's what it is, Robert. It's rum and coffee liqueur, and then the caramel color is added. So it's pretty good. Tastes like chocolate milk to me. <laughs> Tastes to me like booze. Does it? Mm -hmm. oh. Tastes is good. All right, let me find. Now it would be easier tonight if I was using the craft paint because all my blues are together in the craft paint. So let me see. Grabbing out blues, grabbing out blues. I might use a little bit of that. Yeah, he, since he's been getting this treatment, Jen, he grazes constantly. He eats non stop. I'm not kidding you. Which is good. I mean, it's better than having no appetite at all, right? And the doctor's happy that he's putting on weight, but I'm not. Because I'm the one who's going to end up buying new clothes. <laughs> Alright, just making sure I've got them all. I wish I had some 
I guess I've got a good selection. All right, there's all the different blues that we've got. But I do want a dark blue, so I'm going to have to get down. Is that a quilting ruler? It, it is exactly like a quilting ruler. Um, but I guess they've adapted it to be used in journals. Right? All right, I'm going to have to get down in the craft paint and get the, the dark blues. So I don't know why I don't have any. What did I reach? But the okay. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I was going to say, if he stays up here and um, paces, he's going to make me nervous. If he sits down, he's fine. When he paces, it makes me crazy. I'm looking for one particular dark blue. The true navy's good. I like it. There's the indigo. Yep. Okay. We've got what we wanted. I'm not going to use all these colors. I just got them out. All right, now the messy parts begin, so I better get a baby wipe out. It's a few blues. I'm not going to use them all, Terry. I just want them all. I wanted them out before my fingers get all painting. All right, got a baby wipe, got paints. I got the gold to do the splatters. We'll start with the light blue. And then at, when you get to this point, when you've got as much washi tape as you think you want, just go ahead and start rubbing along the edge of the washi, just randomly. Because what you're doing here is disguising the edge of the washi tape, is what you're doing. And then the bits and the pieces of the washi tape start popping out here and there, right? And on this, you're going to be able to see the, the type um, unless you put the acrylic on pretty thick. CB's pr been pretty quiet today, actually. Ms. Janet, I asked if it was a quilting ruler like eight minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the lag is unbelievable. I'm not going to try and explain YouTube today. Actually, YouTube behaved pretty darn well all day until just recently. So I can't say anything really because um, I think you Ustream really has behaved pretty darn well today. Okay, and the, the thing I would tell you is rub it up. Don't let the little white line... Um, appear next to the um, the washi tape and when you start doing it you'll notice that that where you the paint doesn't get smushed down in yeah let's see what other color blue we want Ooh, that's pretty this is primary blue are you getting in my cupboard Roxy Did you hear him just walk in here and tell you what I did? <laughs> oh, my 
my god. Now he's necking with the cat. Alright, I've got one hour to get this finished. But I don't really have an hour because I've got to leave time to do the giveaway, right? I just put out way too much paint, but that's all right. And if I get it on the washi, I mean, some of it stains, so you kind of do have to be careful. Um, but if I get it on the washi, I'll just wipe it back here in a little while. And the ripped edges are a lot easier to um, disguise, for real. You're not a not, night owl? Oh, I'm not a night owl either. Not even a night owl. Okay, I'm going to add some bright aqua green because I added a little bit of that other tape, color tape, so just a little bit of variation. Really, you guys, this is totally random. I just like the end result. I think it's really pretty. So all you women that don't have men around, feel lucky sometimes. <laughs> well, I don't want to go over. Everybody's been so good today about just, man, the time frames have worked out perfectly. So I'm going to try and be thoughtful like that. And that one, I kind of mixed the colors, and that was pretty. Oh, I obliterated that. So Dee Dee is going to go ahead and stream at her normal time in the morning. So, um, Elaine, I don't, Elaine, Eileen, I don't think you were paying attention in chat, but... I said in chat that if Didi's streaming, you and I are streaming too. Just saying. This paint might be one great big fat booger. Nope, it's pretty good paint. All right. Cool. Kind of watery. Oh. And when you put your washi tape down, really push it down. Make sure that the um, the edges um, push down because, um, yeah, you won't like it later if you don't. So just kind of be prepared. And I'm just doing the edges of the washi. I'm not, I mean, I'm getting a little bit up on the washi, but not much. And if you get it on the washi and you don't want it, wipe it off. Can you draw at your stream later? Can you draw at your stream later? What do you mean, draw? You mean like pencil and paper drawing? Or do a drawing for the journals? Or what? 
Uh, I'm not following, sorry. <clears throat> it's either time of day or mudslide. Don't know what. I don't know, tomorrow will probably just be like another day for me. We don't have any plans. Robert does have to go into town and get his medicine, but otherwise, nope, won't matter. The thicker washi works better. Um, the thin washi, I'm, I'm going to probably end up wiping out with my fat finger painting. And if there was a tool or something that I thought would work, I'd probably offer it up to you, but I don't know, other than your finger, what would work. I really don't. But I am liking this blue. I will say that. I like the blue. What time and where I will be there for sure. Eileen was streaming? No, Eileen streams with me. I have the camera. She comes over and tells me what to do. It's like streaming together. No, I... I think the sun will fall out of the sky before Eileen streams. Now, when I go to Boca Raton, we will be streaming. Only I won't be as nice as Jen. Jen was so nice. She didn't make her do anything she didn't want to do. I won't be that nice. Promise. I won't. Eileen is definitely the boss. Yeah. We don't argue with the boss. All right, I'm going to get this pretty light blue. I kind of think the heavy body paints work a little bit better um, than the craft paints, but even that's hard to, to say. This is like a periwinkle blue. Oh, it's pretty. Really pretty. Yeah, we got y'all excited. Sorry. No. Eileen streams with me. Sometimes your fingers just get too dirty. <laughs> you just got to clean them. Ooh, that ultramarine is bright. Holy cow. Requires a lot of patience. Uh, you know what? Though it's pretty mindless. I mean, I'm I'm not having to give a whole heck of a lot of thought to what I'm doing here. It's pretty pretty mindless. It is pretty though. It's starting to get really pretty.
Okay, see, Eileen did stream once. Of a swap box. Well, I would love to see that. Eileen, put that on YouTube. So, Darcy, if you're still here, is Darcy still here? Um, did I somehow get the impression that her and Jonna were maybe going to stream again someday? Or did I just make that up, wishful thinking? Oops. Probably wishful thinking. I wish I had more light blues, is what I wish. You can kind of see the edge of the, the washi, but not much. See, I'm getting now where there's... Um, there's not much white area left. And I want some white area left. Let's see what other color blues we got. This is a pretty blue. Make some light. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, it is five minutes till midnight. Am I off in 15 minutes? If I am, I'm going to stop this right here. Because you guys got the idea of what I'm doing here. And I'll finish it tomorrow, probably on stream. But it seems to me like 1045, 1145 to 1215. Do I only have an hour and a half? Do I see your blog? We have discussed it only because we were just planning to take the 27th, but I will definitely let everyone know in the meantime. I'm really enjoying. Oh, that would be so much fun, Darcy. But I understand, like, you guys got, like, real life out there. But, yeah, I, I've definitely missed you guys a ton. So it would be way fun. Yeah, just keep us informed. Let us know what the plans are. Because you know we would all come back and support you like a hundred percent. Because you guys came up with great projects that were fun and yeah. Would love, love, love to see you come back. And I carry love too, but you know, like, I, I get that there's so much real life out there. No way. Ten minutes? I have to, I don't know. Ask Jean. <laughs> if Jean is still awake. Jean may not st still be awake. I may have goofed around too much. So, yeah, ask Jean. Because was I on 12... 10.45 to 12.15. I don't know. Ask Jean. Jean knows. Or it's on her blog, actually. Somebody could go look.
You have until 12.15. Okay, so 12.15 Central Time. So my time is almost up, which is fine. I'll stop and we'll do a giveaway here. Because you guys got the idea of how this is going to look now, right? You're probably sick of watching this crap anyway. But more than anything, I just wanted to launch the um, the scavenger hunt. So the art was secondary. But I think the scavenger hunt is going to be a ton of fun. And I got to start the countdown to midnight because it's coming up here close. All right, so... And this is actually, in real life, my Happy New Year. So, yeah, I have 15 more minutes, but I want to do the giveaway. I have to do five journal giveaways. So, yep, I got 15 minutes. So I'm just waiting for midnight now. I like that you can see the New York Times across the top. I kind of like that a lot. Okay, 12.15 Central, your time. Thanks for looking, you guys. Well, Happy New Year to me and everybody else. Happy New Year. I should go yell at Ratatouille. Hang on just a second. Hey, Robert Vaughn. Alright, I said Happy New Year to the rat. Thank you. <coughs> Welcome. Alright, so anyway, you guys got the idea, right? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> they hear me. Yeah, they can hear you. Because the next thing that will happen now is um, on this one, I'm not going to cut the circle out. Um, <clears throat> like on this one, where we cut the circle out and did the possibility. I, I am probably going to do it. I'll finish it tomorrow. How about that? If you come to the stream tomorrow, I'll finish it up. And in the meantime, we will do... A giveaway because 15 minutes on stream goes like so quick you guys so they're saying happy new year Robert happy new year happy new year happy new year Robert darling happy new year to you guys I can't believe he's still out of bed The boy does not stay up till midnight. Pucker up, Robert. You need to kiss every one of these girls. <laughs> Eileen asked, and you said you would. Or maybe I said you would. Maybe you never said anything. <laughs> All right. Here's the rules for the giveaway. I'm going to type and go. It's, it'll be the rules exactly like Katie's. I'm going to type go into the chat. When you see that go, you type in one number, one number only. This is eligible for anybody who is in chat right now, whether you're international or domestic, doesn't matter, I will ship it wherever, but you get one number only. Okay, that one number is going to be used for all of the giveaways. Okay, you can only win once, so your number won't <clears throat> work for the second one. Um, but I will, I will draw five numbers randomly. Okay, one number only, and Eileen and Sherry and some of the other people can help me figure this out. Um, and I'll use random.org to 
Well, of course you can play, Josie. Why couldn't you play? Drink in my mudslide. All right, get my phone. Everyone can play. I'll ship internationally. I don't care. Okay. I'm pulling random.org up. Um, all right, we got random.org. It's doing something crazy, but all right, here we go. All right. Oh, my chat isn't working, you guys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm trying to reload it. There you go. You and me both, Eileen. If chat screws up, we're going to get on the phone together and drink the rest of the night. One mud slide down. Yeah, poor Sherry's been sitting there um, holding it. All right, I'll just wait until numbers quit scrolling by. There's 70 people in chat, so there's going to be a lot. All right. <clears throat> and I'll just let whoever wins first, second, third, pick the, um, the journals as we go. So, and I'll put names on them. So, are you okay? Why would you not be okay? I hope you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. The numbers are coming across, and I'm I'm seeing them. And CB wrote six thousand eight hundred and fifty-four. That's how much she loves me, I think, because that's how much I love her. All right, the numbers still coming. Might as well have another mudslide, right? Yeah, without going over. Yeah, I, I get it, Terry. Those are just like chocolate milks. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay, you can't win. You already have one. Well, CB, yeah, you could have. Because you don't have one like this. Galena, I haven't eaten since last year. All right, I think we're going to say stop. We'll pull up random.org. You guys are going to have to help me. All right. Can you guys see that okay? Number is 19. So whoever is closest without going over to 19, starting at the top, First numbers have to go. Ooh, Miss Sally has 18. Miss Sally, I think you won with 18. Somebody verify that that is correct. But I think Miss Sally won it 
with 18 because nobody had 19. Do you guys agree with me? All right. Trouble agrees with me. Miss Allie, which of the journal covers would you like? The red, here, I'll turn this off so maybe the color depiction will be more accurate. Black with red, the blue, the light blue, green, or the Discover Adventure. Oops. Watch out for falling exactos. Um, you get to pick one, Allie. If you don't do it soon, I'm going to do it for you. All right, well, Allie gets to go first. We can go ahead. I'm just going to randomly draw the numbers because we're going to keep the... You want the Discover Adventure? You got it. All right. Um, we're going to use the same numbers, and I'm just going to generate a different number. I don't know why it's taking so long. Hmm. Hang on. I'm going to get out of it and start over. Because it was just sitting there buffering. Don't know why. Now it doesn't want to load. Alright. Here we go. Thirteen. Holy crap. What's with all these low numbers? Thirteen without going over. All right, there's a couple thirteens. So the first thirteen is Katina. Katina. Well, Katina, I don't know that we've ever met, but congratulations. Um, you're going to have to get me your email address or your address so I can mail it to you. Allie, you need to give me your address too. I'm pretty sure I don't have yours. You've got my email, and I'll put it in here in a minute. So, Katina, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. K-A-T-I-N-A. -A. Had 13 right on the button first. Somebody verify that I'm correct. Yep, Katina has 13. So, Katina, um... Artist poet girl. I'll take the blue or the green. <laughs> right after you win, you can say that. Okay. So um, at the end of this, I will put my email address in, and y'all have to get me your address. Here we're gonna go for the third one. We're gonna generate. Maybe it doesn't like to do it multiple times. I think that's it. I think I have to go out. No, nope. Ten. Oh my gosh, these numbers are so low. All right, got to go all the way back up. Third number was 10. Katina, you have to tell me which one you want. Oh, Sherry, you were so close. You just went one over. All right, so we've got... Galena has 9. I think Galena with nine. See if I'm right, you guys, but I'm thinking Galena with nine.
You want the black and the red? Okay. Um, she wants the black and the red. And I have your email address. Um, you know what, Katina, since you've got my email already, would you please st send me your street address? Um, when I have to remember too many things, um, yeah, that's when bad stuff happens. So, Katina, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and send me a second email and tell me that you're the winner of the black and red with your street address, because I need to send it to your street address. All right. Galena with nine. I thought so, too. Galena... Galena, I don't care what color, it's a Janet Journal. No, you get to decide. Tell me what you want. Jennifer, I'm running over and I'm sorry. So these are the ones that are left. The dark blue, the light blue, and the green. You get to decide. Yeah, th there is a little bit of purple in this one, um, but there's also purple in the pink one. There's purple up in here. This is purple in here, so whatever one you want. All right, Galena, you just let me. Darcy, okay, you're just going to go over to the bed? All right, so Galena has yet to tell me. I'll go ahead and generate another number, hopefully a high number, 49 this time. Let's go back up. 49, 49, 49. Oh, Denise has 48. I'm thinking Denise with 48. Somebody confirmed that I'm right, but I'm thinking it's Denise with 48. Denise in New Jersey. Somebody confirm me. Denise with 48. Okay, Sarah, I agree. All right, Galena's saying the dark blue. Got it. All right. So, Denise, you get the green one or the light blue one. Congratulations. You just tell me which one you want, and we're going to random generate one more time so we can get over to Jennifer's. Oh, it generated already. 51. So we had a 49 and a 51. How crazy. Those were crazy numbers. Well, you actually had 48. All right, go back. 51. You'd like the light blue one? All right. Got to go see who got 51. Whoever got 51 is getting a green one. And Denise, if you're closest, you can't win twice, so it'll be whoever's the next one after you. Okay, so we're looking for 51. Oh, there's a 50 I just saw. <clears throat> The scrap chick has 50. I'm thinking it's you, Colleen. I'm thinking it's Colleen. Somebody confirm that before we get everybody all excited, but I'm thinking Colleen with 50. All right, I think you all are correct. 
I hope you like green, Colleen. If you don't, trade it with Eileen for something of hers that you want. Colleen, I have your address. You don't have to worry about it. Denise in New Jersey, I do not have your address. So you need to send me an email. <clears throat> and I'll put my email again in. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I will put my email in again. So congratulations to all you winners. You're welcome so much. It was fun. Today has been a really, really fun day. And I'm actually going to look forward to next year. And I will finish this other journal. And you guys know me. When I make stuff, I give it away. So there will definitely be more journals um, coming up for giveaway because how many does one girl need um, so happy new year to all of you I love you so much thank you again for your, all of your support and for not just me for all the streamers um, it means the world to us really so um, go over to Jennifer's do we have a, a link for Jennifer Jennifer do you have a link but Eileen we are streaming tomorrow all right, Ben. Sweet dreams. Does yes, the passport holder does hold a real passport, Sandy. I will show it tomorrow. Um, yes, it does hold at least an American passport. I'll show you right now, real quick. Here's my passport, right here. It happens to be out because um, I needed it to schedule my flight to Australia, right? I'm coming to see you, Jen and Squiz. Okay, here's my passport. There's passport cover. So it, it fits. For sure. Yep, I'll be on tomorrow at 1 Eastern. I don't know what we'll be doing, but we'll, well I'll finish this journal probably. So get over to Jennifer's. Jean, again, can't thank you enough. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be there. Um, yep, I'll be traveling with CB and Xandra. Can you imagine how much fun this is going to be? I, I get so excited sometimes my stomach hurts. I'm not kidding you. And Jen... You can feed me dog food, and I'll be happy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Bye, you guys.